You guys have seen me tease it, now you can use it. A2 Square Studios Gooseneck Tipper Trailers out now for all platforms. What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today I've got 16 mods for you. For all platforms, we've got 6 new and 9 updates. And for PC and Mac, we've got 1 new. Let's check them out. First up today, you know we're gonna start with it. The A2 Square Studio 20 foot Gooseneck trailer kit is out now for all platforms. Get hype! Let's go. So what do we have? We've got rim color down here. You've got stainless steel, dark steel, aluminum, chrome. You've also got polished new silver, scarlet red, pearl white. We have a gunmetal blaze orange nitro blue, which is super, super close to my DJ Goham blue. If you guys are trying to get close to that, you also have deep blue, deer green, deer yellow, metallic manitou, and then we go into our base game colors from there. So whatever you want to choose, you're good to go. Then main color, we have very similar versions there. We also have stock, stainless steel, dark steel, aluminum, chrome. Yes, chrome. Gotta love that. Also have polished, new silver, and then we go into our normal color. So we have all the same colors as our rims. However, they're available in a new and an old version. You can see the new looks really, really good. However, the old has kind of like a worn look to it. That's gonna be your difference right there. It has a different base material altogether. So if you guys wanna go for a little bit of an older trailer, maybe something, just a little bit of texture to it, that's what you're gonna to wanna to go with there. We're gonna change this back up to a standard color, boom. And then design color, this is gonna be the very top. So this is going to be your tarp on the top. We've got stock, new silver, red, pearl white, gunmetal, dark moon. You also have blaze orange, nitro blue, deep blue, deer green and deer yellow so go with whatever you like there i like the scarlet red this is kind of like your standard look to this trailer i love it i'm sure you guys are as well then we move into our presets down here we have basic and we have extension with the basic you can see some options go away we're released with the extension the extension what that's going to do is take it from a 26,000 liter temper trailer with the extensions, it adds it and makes it go to 30,000. Now, it was more than that in the pre-release version. However, it was just too much weight for a truck. It's very, very heavy. Keep in mind, this is being pulled by normal trucks, like in-game trucks. Well, not in-game, but modded ones. So this is gonna be a little bit difficult, but let's stick with basic. We've got standard mud guards. We have the back mud guards, both in the back to standard. Standard is none, by the way. You got your 82s on there, 82s logistics, yeah, yeah. Wheel setups, we have standard, Nokian tires. We also have our T404 tires as well, so you've got some Trelleborg tires if you're trying to run like that. I like it, I think they look great. Then we have tension belts. Tension belts inactive and tension belts active. So I'll tell you what, we are going to get this version right here, and then let's go with an extension version right here, and we are going to change this one up to a nitro blue, so we know which one's which. Let's back into this bad boy and let's take a look at all of our controls and everything like that. So right now I'm using the, I believe this is the TT, yes, the Lizard TTHD flatbed. This will work if you use the ball hitch on the back. This will also work with semi trucks and anything else like that. Also works with North Monty Company trucks. Very cool there. So what do we have? We can go into, we've got unfold tipper. What is that going to do? Well, what that's gonna do is that's going to open up this it's going to bring in some rear risers so you can come through, drive in, do what you want to do, and then you're good to go there. You can also fold it back. And that's going to put everything back where you left it and go boop right with the uh, the tarp on the back. Speaking of tarp, you could also open and close it. So if you'd like to open the tarp, close the tarp, whatever you need to do, you could do that. The animation looks absolutely amazing. Uh, i tell you what, David's done a really fantastic job on this. Once we get past that, then we have lift front loader. What does that mean? That's gonna bring down this bad boy right here. So if you're working, maybe you wanna leave it sitting, give it a little bit of stability whenever you're loading equipment, something like that. Maybe you don't want your truck flying away. Well, there you go. You can lower those while it's attached, which is something very exclusive to these sets of trailers. Then we have fashion tension belts and unfashion tension belts. Let's remove the tarp. You can actually <laughs> leave these on with the tarp. So. Let's say you've got a vehicle in the back that has the uh, the strap down, um, the XML or whatever it is. Maybe you've got something like that. Let's say you got a bunch of logs. Maybe you've got some pallets. There are bells that are like stacked super high. Well, now you don't have to worry about that. 
because this is going to hold on to them just fine. So you're good to go there. We've also got open front loader from there. That's going to adjust this bad boy right here. Now you can see kind of what looks to be like a hydraulic line or grease line. That is going to be your standard line right there. So you know kind of what's level and what's not. That's just going to allow you to take maybe a little bit heavier load, something like that. You should be easy and good to go there. Now, one of my favorite things to do <laughs> is do this and then raise it up because <laughs> the trailer is so solid and heavy that it will do that, which I just, it's funny to me. Leave me alone. <laughs> we'll go back to standard. And then lastly, it's a tipper trailer. So you can tip. It's That's exactly what it's meant for. Vehicles, bells, pallets, it lick... <laughs> everything but liquids basically even vehicles now there is one thing to understand and to know before you start doing anything crazy you can unfold this and do all that kind of stuff while the vehicle is open so just be careful you wouldn't do that in real life anyway especially with the trailer like this that could do that you wouldn't generally do that on purpose so just don't do it in game and you'll be just fine boom now, what's different between that version and our new other version that we've got right here? Of course, this will hold 4,000 more liters, but will it do anything else? Well, not really. We've got, uh, see, it says tension belts, but that's on the truck itself. We've got the standard unfold. Actually, no, we don't. No unfold for this one. So this one is not going to be your super multi-purpose. Interesting. Okay, but we can still have control of everything else. So you've got your tip and all that good stuff. Cool. What do you guys think about these trailers? Let me know down in the comment section below. We're going to be using these in our Let's Play tomorrow. So make sure you stay tuned to that. Next new mod for all platforms, we have the Fiat Agri 180. Now, call me crazy. <laughs> Don't we already have one of these in game? Uh, maybe I am crazy. Who knows? I'm a little crazy. Right here, we've got rim color. We start with a standard. We also have a matte version of that standard. I think it looks really good. We have a black matte, and then we go into our base game color. So it's kind of neat. We've got all of our base game colors in here. That's kind of cool, but I like the standard, so we're just going to stick with standard. Configuration, we have standard there. 450 kilogram weight, 900 kilogram weight. Back to standard again. I imagine you'll be able to stick on a front lifter and be good to go there. Wheel brands, we have Trelleborg. We also have Michelin, and back to Trelleborg. In Trelleborg, you've got standard and one tire so you got that there then design we have standard then we have trumpets on top beacon lights trumpets and the beacon lights exterior lights all what do the trumpets sound like yo all right we gotta get one of these and then let's put in all there we go all right and th that's all your customization no front load or nothing like that pretty standard stuff through there all right so this is our normal one. Let's turn up our volume. It's a meep. What about this one? Boo. Next up, we have the STX Quad Track Series. Case IH. This is NEFG Northeast Farm Group modding. This is quite a beast. So this is the Quad Track four wheel drive tractors. Um, they're revolutionary new leader in the X Series farming family of tractors. These have 3D tracks? Oh my god. I think these have 3D tracks. I'm gonna lease one and find out right now. Do we have 3D tracks? Come on! I can't see. Let me out of here. Yep. 3D tracks. Of course we have 3D tracks on it because it's Northeast Farm Group and those guys are amazing. So let's jump in and let's see if we can find this bad boy and customize one because it has nothing on it. So we have configuration, standard 300 kilogram front weight, 500 kilogram front weight, 700, 900 back to standard again. I'm not sure 900 is really going to do much on the front of this thing, but hey, if you want it, get it anyway. Extremities. We have none. We have US. We also have EU and none again. This was a feature that I believe was uh, shown off on this one as well. Yes. So this one, the STX Steiger also had very similar setups there. I really like that. So whether you're in Europe, whether you're in uh, UK, whether you're in America, whether you're nowhere, <laughs> you could set this however you like, whatever you like to do. Then we have attachers. You have a hitch in the back, 
We also have a hitch and wait, much more weight. And then if you really want to go for it, you've got a three point as well. So to each their own when it comes to the attachments in the back. And the wheels, we have the 30 inch with an 80 inch belt. Then we have the 36 inch. Oh, <laughs> we also have road track. We have, uh, let's see, that's road track with 18, then 21, 24, 30, and back to 18 again. Oh, we have different road track. Yeah, so we have uh, road track 80 inch, road track 88 inch, which is going to bring it out a little bit more. Then we have the road track 120 inch with 18s, 21s, 24s, and 30s. And then we're back to the standard again with the uh, 80 inch. Nice. What does it come with? 30 inch belt. I didn't even get to that. Hold up a minute. <laughs> What's out here? All right, so we've got road track. 30, 18, 120s. Goodness gracious. Those are those are all tracks. That's cool, man. Yes. All right. Then we have engine setup. We're going to go from anywhere from the 375 up to the 535. And in between, we have 375. We have a 380. We have a 380 quad track, which has the new logo on there. 385 with the new logo. 425 with the old. 430. 430 with the new. 435. 440 with the old, 440 or 450, and 480 with the old, 480 with the new, 500 with old, 530, 530 with the new, 535, and then we're back to our standard again. And then lastly, GPS, we have none, and then we have, well, pretty much, yes, even though it's not going to do literally anything. Boom. Uh, not only that, um, yeah, that price is pretty dead gum affordable. I mean, yeah. <laughs> It starts at $145,000. Super cheap. A lot of power. Do your thing. Do your thing. This thing's awesome. Next up, we've got something that is far from a sword in a stone. This is Excalibur. The Lizard Excalibur. This is a multicolor, multi-purpose low loader for all platforms. Semi-low loader. Boom. So what do we have here? Basically, we have rim color, which is polished metal. Chrome. Yes, we have chrome. We also have gold and then black metallic, blue, green, yellow, orange. And then we go into our base game colors from there. Yeah, you know, we're going to go with chrome. And then main color. We start with a kind of a proprietary green. I'm not sure if that's a John Deere. Maybe a uh, Doids looks, um, eh, that looks, that looks about right. But you could just use any color that you want. I think Onyx is going to look the best right there, at least for using it for anything and everything uh, this has some very cool looking wheels as well let's actually get one of these and let's find it and see what kind of wheels <laughs> we're on the thing back there let's bring that forward just a little bit there you go we do have tension belts on here so regardless of what you're hauling around we do have tension belts that is nice and then let's see our wheels look to be just a standard they kind of look like the base game wheels to me, so I don't think there's anything crazy or special when it comes to that. Let's grab a semi-truck and let's see if we've got any special functions. Never mind, turns out this works perfect with a TTHD as well. So what do we have in here? We have tension belts, yes or no, and there are a lot of them on there. Otherwise, we get literally nothing else. So you are going to have to figure out how to get your stuff from not on, on here to, to on here. You have my prayers. Your next to last new mod for all platforms today is going to be the Vicon Vibraflow 1500. This is a 1500 liter fertilizer spreader with an 18 meter spread at 12 miles per hour. It will do lime as well. So keep that in mind. However, lime goes pretty fast. So this may not be what you want to use your lime with. If you're doing lime, I recommend one of two things. One of these and stick an extension on there because you're going to need it. Otherwise, oh, and we're out. Well, fertilizer is what it is. And lastly, today we've got small houses. There's gonna be four small houses anywhere from brick to white, uh, seven by five meters, all the way up to seven by nine meters. They're not tiny houses, but they are pretty darn close. Prices are gonna be 9,000, 9,500, 11,000, and 12,000 respectively, making them extremely cheap. Very cool. I like to see this. Making our way into mod updates for all platforms today. First up, we have the Challenger and Finn. So both of each one of these. MT, this changelog 1.001 added normal tracks. So you can actually do 3D normal, normal and wide. And you can do normal tracks and wide. Very cool there. 
They've also added tinted windows an option and added metallic and more colors. So we go into our main color, you see we've got a bunch of stuff in here. We have metallic, metallic? <laughs> This is a Mattel. Uh, matte colors, metallic, and satin colors, as well as some scarlet stuff. Very interesting. Nitro blue. Gotta get your DJ Go Ham colors on. Let's go. And an update to the big brick house. Changelog 1.001 added seasons masks. So these are now seasons ready. I say these. This is now seasons ready. Next update is for the Chain Harrow. This is gonna be update 1.0.1. New model, 3D bones. 3D bones? I don't see any bones. And then they've also added color configuration as well. That main color configuration, boom, main color. We do have our default color plus everything else that you can think of under the rainbow. Uh, this is going to keep that metal metallic look, so it looks like you pretty much just spray painted right over it. And then design color. You've got default plus. You can change this up however you would like. Very cool. I like that. We've got an update to the open shed. This is Changelog 1.001, Seasons Ready. And an update to Metal Gate, Changelog 1.001. Can you guess? Seasons Ready. We've got an update to the Grain Quid Storage by Missy B Modding. We talked about this in Farm Sim News a few days ago. This is going to be Changelog 1.2, added additional multi fruit to it, and remove the liquid silo extension. And we've got an update to the Slurry Shaft Package. This is going to be Changelog 1.1. Texture of the old slurry shaft has been adapted and the mod description version has been customized. We do have another update for you. This is probably the best update I've ever seen in my entire life, other than that shoe in the toilet. Wooden toilet! This is change log two. Improve the textures and added manure and liquid manure <laughs> station. So you can come up through here and buy liquid manure or regular manure if you want. That's... Oh, that's genius. That's phenomenal. I love that. And your last mod update for all platforms today is going to be Seasons Geo Ishia Farm by Black Eyes Modding. Changelog 1.1, crop growth has been corrected and fixed for Ishia Farm update. And your last mod today, this is a brand new mod for PC and Mac players. This is the Lizard Pig Feeding Systems. With this system, the supply of the individual feed components can be ir individually regulated. The module designs and enables the individual feeding to set the feeding time, stand in front of the silos. Since the pigs are fed via a pipe system, this system can be connected to almost any stables without any problems. That's pretty sweet. The system's divided into four modules. The main module is for maize feeding. The other major, or modules are for grain feeding. You've also got protein feeding, so you've got things uh, uh, like soybeans, sunflowers, that kind of thing. And then module three is going to be for the earth fruit. So it's gonna be your potatoes and sugar beets. Do keep in mind, Global Company is required to use this. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. Because this is Friday, new mods do not generally release on Saturday and Sunday. They have, but it has been extremely rare. If any do release this weekend, I will be on top of it. I've got the weekend off, so I'll be focusing 100% on YouTube. But... All being said, I hope you have a great, awesome, wonderful rest of your day and a great weekend. We'll see you later. Oh, yeah, yeah. Peace.